गुड मॉर्निंग बच्चों आज हम एवगेडोज नंबर के ऊपर डिस्कशन करेंगे वी आल नो द वैल्यू ऑफ एवगेडोज नंबर इज सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू 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 टेन टू दावर ट्वेंटी थ्री आज हम देखेंगे कि ये वैल्यू को हम कैसे अराइव कर सकते हैं ओके क्योंकि एवगेडोज ने जो हाइपोथेसिस दी थी उसने ये वैल्यू नहीं दी थी एवगेडोज नंबर की उसने बोला था कि इक्वल वॉल्यूम्स ऑफ गैसेज हैव इक्वल नंबर ऑफ मोलिक्यूल्स एट ए गिवन टेम्परेचर एंड प्रेशर दैट मीन्स The number of molecules present in a gas at a given temperature and pressure depends on the volume of the gas. Okay, so that was the original hypothesis of Avogadro's. अभी हम ये value को कैसे arrive कर सकते हैं? Let us go step by step. We know that one atomic mass unit. What is the definition? That is one by twelfth the mass of one atom of Equal isotope of carbon. Okay, and this value comes to be around 1.66 into 10 to the power minus 24 gram. Okay, now I ask you, what is the mass of one molecule of oxygen gas? We know that one molecule of oxygen gas has two atoms of oxygen. And each atom of oxygen weighs 16 mg. So what will be the mass of one molecule of oxygen? Will be 2 into 16 mg. This is nothing but 32 mg. Okay. And this is nothing but 32 into 1 mg is 1.66 into 10 to the power minus 24 gram. So this is the mass of one molecule of gas. I can write this. statement in a different way okay if i write this statement as this much gram of this much gram mass is present in one molecule of i write that 32 into 1.66 into 10 to the power minus 24 gram is the mass of one molecule of oxygen gas okay this is same statement i have written reverse because mass of one molecule of oxygen gas is this many this many grams so this many grams will be the mass of one molecule so one gram by unitary method will be the mass of how many molecules 1 divided by 32 into 1.66 into 10 to the power minus 24. So this many molecules. Okay, that is 1 gram will be the mass of this many molecules. If I write 32 grams will be the mass of how many molecules? It will be 32 divided by 32 into 1.66 into 10 to the power minus 24. Now 32 gets cancelled out, so we get one upon this, and this value, if we calculate, it will be 6.022 into 10 to the power 23. So we have arrived at the same value, that is the Avogadro's number. That is 32 grams of oxygen gas will have this many number of molecules. Okay, and that is nothing but Avogadro's. number in similar way suppose i take for nitrogen gas then i will write 28 into 1.66 into 10 to the power minus 24 gram is the mass of will be the mass of one molecule of nitrogen gas Okay, one molecule of nitrogen gas will be 28 mg. That is, so many grams will be the mass of one molecule. So, if I write one gram, will be the mass of one upon 28 into 1.66 into 10 to the power minus 24. This many molecules, and if I write 28 grams of nitrogen, okay. 
will be the mass of 20, we will multiply it by 28, so 28 divided by 28 into 1.66 into 10 to the power minus 24 and this will again come 6.022 into 10 to the power 28. So by this we come to know that 32 gram of oxygen has this many number of molecules, 28 gram of, of oxygen or of nitrogen also has this many number of molecules. So, and we know that 32 gram of oxygen means one mole of oxygen gas, yes, that is 32 gram, it has this many number of molecules and one mole of nitrogen gas, that is 28 gram, also has so many number of molecules. So, we have arrived at the Avogadro's number, which states that one mole of any gas has Avogadro's number of molecules. Similarly, we can say that suppose I take some atom, okay, suppose carbon atom. We know the atomic mass of carbon is 12. So, 12 gram of carbon will also have so many number of atoms because carbon is in atomic state. So, 12 gram of carbon will have so many number of atoms like one mole of oxygen gas has so many number of molecules okay and similarly i can say if i give you one mole of say sodium chloride dissolved in water so how many uh, it will dissociate into one molecule will dissociate into two ions that is sodium ion and chloride ion and we will have two times the average dose number number of ions with one mole of sodium chloride okay so if i dissolve one mole of sodium chloride in water how many number of particles will i have in the solution because sodium chloride will get dissociated into na plus ions and chloride ions okay suppose i start with one mole of sodium chloride in solid state and this is in aqueous state then this will how many ions are produced with one molecule two ions with one, one mole there will be one mole of sodium plus ions and one mole of chloride ions so total i will have two moles of ions or two moles of particles that is 2 into Avogadro's number that many ions will be produced in the solution if I dissolve one mole of NaCl. So that is the importance of Avogadro's number and I have told you how we can arrive at this value starting from the definition of atomic mass unit. I hope you have understood the concept of Avogadro's number very well. Okay. Okay. Thank you. We will meet again. Till then, wish you all the best. Thank you.